Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be filming a thrifting video where I thrift my personal Chris Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. My personal Christmas thrifted wish list. Say that five times that fast. Helpful. Christmas thrifted wish list. Um, so things that I would like to thrift for myself to gift myself for Christmas that are thrifted. Um, and so I kind of have a mood board of those things, which I'll show you. Oh, sorry about the lighting. Um, but I also want to just kind of talk about them with you too. So one of the things is a pair of tall boots, not cowboy boots, but like, um, like kind of like 90s tall leather boots. And I would also like to thrift a plaid trench coat, um, but like a wool plaid trench coat, maybe in like a brighter color pattern. I also really want a chunky scarf, a like wool or cashmere beanie. I know that's kind of specific. And then um, what else did I have on there? Like some baggy dad jeans. Cause I feel like most of my jeans are like either super straight leg or like mom jeans um and then I had a couple other things on there I'll see if I can remember them hang on one sec okay and then the last thing that I couldn't remember but I just remembered it anything Sherpa so anything that's like a Sherpa line jacket or a Sherpa coat fully or a suede coat with Sherpa on the inside anything like that I really 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 want to thrift something because I feel like I can and I don't just want to buy it online I want to thrift something so those are some of my thrifted wish list items and yeah we're just gonna go around today and see if I can find them of course we'll be going to the bins first because as you know it's where I find the best stuff your girl always wants to go to the bins so it looks crowded it looks really crowded so I don't know how long I'll last and I don't know how much I'll be able to film, but I will try to do my best for you guys. Having a pretty cute little fit today. Some cowboy boots. Eric Slint rolling himself in the parking lot. <laughs> Gotta look good to go to the bins, you know? Yeah. So, so far I found this kind of cute little thingamajig. And then I did find some colorful cowboy boots, but unfortunately, I think these are gonna be way too small for me, but I wanted to show them to you guys anyways. They're so cute. They're a little crumpled, but they are leather. And I love the color of them, but I'm almost positive they're too small, so I'm gonna keep looking. I also found these, which like, I don't even know what these are, but they're kind of sick looking. Like, I kind of think they're super cool. They're very heavy, so I don't know if I'll end up getting them. <laughs> but that's what I've gotten so far. Kind of really like these little roosters. These little roosters. <laughs> Are you think they're cute or scary? Yeah. Uh, I think scary because, like, what's going on with the ears? Oh, look at this, like, copper. It's broken. Uh, that's pretty though. I saw it. That's the dream over here. Giant urn. It's kind of creepy. 
honestly. Try it. I think it's actually for like... It's for balance. Yeah, but it's more so for push-ups, I think. Oh, I thought you do squats on it. I think the bigger ones are for squats. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> I already have a similar piece of furniture that I really like. This one as well. Clearly someone used it as a TV stand and like drilled their own hole in it, which it wasn't originally intended to be like that. But I think you could just cover that up. It's pretty cute and it's only 30 bucks. Which is tempting. Maybe I'll get this. It's kind of like awkwardly tall.
Okay, so to be totally honest with you guys, I have not found that much. I have found stuff, but not stuff that was on my wish list. So we're gonna go to a couple more places and see, but I'm a little bit, like I have exciting stuff to show you, but I do not have a ton of stuff from the wish list. So we'll see. We're gonna keep looking, who knows? I might find some more. There were a ton of people outside doing, oh my gosh, doing yard work and I think they just finished. Thank goodness. So I can finally film this now. So I'm back from thrifting guys and I have to say on the way thrifting, I kind of was like, oh, this is going to be my winter wish list, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, I didn't find like anything on my wish list. I found some really cool home decor. I found some other things that weren't on my wish list. But I did not find anything that I'd spoken about on my wish list, really. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to film a part two of that video and try again. But all that to say, it was not a loss. I still found some really, really cool stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that stuff that I found right now. So the things that I found are kind of a mash, mishmash of home decor, accessories, and then a few pieces of clothing. So I'm gonna start off with the home decor. Firstly, I found this adorable basket. Um, I talked about this, I think in the last video, but I'm doing like gift baskets for friends and family. And so I'm gonna use this as one of those. Um, it's just really cute, found it at the bins. It was like 50 cents, if that. Um, and then the other thing that I found, I don't have like a great way to display these, but I found these vintage green glass ornaments. How pretty are these? Love, love, love these. Um, they have like a copper top on them. And so obviously I'm gonna add these to my tree. I thought those were just like a really cute little thing to find. Um, so those are the first two things. Also in home decor, home goods, you guys will have seen me pick this up earlier in the video, but I ended up actually buying it. So it was this adorable little teapot. It was $5, which isn't that bad. Um, yeah, wasn't, wasn't too bad. I just think it's so cute. And the crazy thing is I actually already own a set of teacups that match this teapot. Literally bought them like several months ago and they somehow match this teapot. So super, super cute. Sorry about the lighting is a little weird, but I absolutely love this. Thinking about maybe giving the set as a Christmas gift. Should I do that? I don't know, thinking about it. Next, you guys will have also seen me pick this up when we were in the store. It is just this little dish. I think probably it was originally used as like a jewelry dish or like a trinket dish or something like that. Um, it said handmade in Italy. So very cute. It's this adorable, just like kind of very fancy style with like an acorn top, super cute. And actually what I have been using this for and what I will continue to use this for is on my sink. I like to have something to put the sponge in so that it's not like showing. And so it also doesn't get like nasty. So I put the sponge in this on the sink. Maybe that's weird. I don't know, I think it looks cute. Last but not least for the home goods, I got this terrine, which has these two lion heads on either side. Sadly, it did not have the top with it when I bought it, which is such a bummer. Um, this is actually not vintage though. It's from Sur La Table, which is a, just like a cooking brand, kind of similar to Williams Sonoma but it is oven safe and dishwasher safe. I probably won't ever be able to cook in it because it doesn't have the top, which is so annoying and it's also pretty small. So I think something like this would actually make a perfect planter. So that's probably what I'll end up using it is just a planter. So those are all of the home goods. Now let's get into the accessories. Actually, wait, I have one more thing. I don't really know what this qualifies as, but I found this at the bins and it is just this roll of lace, a vintage lace. How pretty is this? I feel like I'm obviously not like a seamstress, but if I was, it would be awesome. It's so pretty. I just love it. Hats, you guys. So I ended up getting the cowboy hat. Oh my word. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know if I'll ever wear this. It does kind of fit though. Like 
but how does one even wear a cowboy hat? I just, I don't feel like it's super, I don't feel like it's super flattering. So if you guys have any suggestions for how to wear this, please let me know because I want to be able to wear it. I just literally have no idea how. The other accessory that I got is also a hat and it is this really cute, like wool baseball cap hat. I love a good baseball cap, as you guys I'm sure know from all the times that I've worn them on here. Um, so I think this is pretty cute. I mean, it's definitely like probably for a man and it's like a little bit big for my head. I would have to figure out how to kind of style it and wear it. But being said, I do think it's really cute. It's just this really nice gray color it can go with everything. I feel like it's super cute and trendy and kind of a fun twist on the baseball hat look for winter colder. Well, it's supposed to be colder. It's like hot here right now, which is really throwing me off my Christmas spirit. Um, and then the last two things that I picked up are two Christmas sweaters, guys. So the first one is this L.L. Bean wool sweater. I mean, it's pretty precious. Like, how amazing is that? I literally love it. Um, it is very itchy because it is wool, so I don't know how often I'll end up wearing it. But um, I do love it. And it's like a Fair Isle knit. It's just super cute. Red and navy blue. Love, love, love it. Love the old vintage LL Bean tag. Such a fun find. Um, so I found that. And then the other little sweater that I found is also adorable. It's also wool. Um, but I thought the pattern on this was just so cute. It's this really light gray color. And then it has um, these like little yellowy golden stripes running through it. And it would just be so cute tucked in with some jeans. Love the vintage tag on this one also. Super sweet. I can honestly see my sister wearing this, one of my sisters. So I think I might gift it to her for Christmas. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. Unfortunately, like I couldn't find everything that was on my list or really anything that I had on my original list. But that is how thrifting goes sometimes. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, so I'm gonna try again next week to actually go thrifting for my wish list. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways and still had a good time watching me thrift and find a few little goodies. And if you did, please like this video. I would love it if you subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.